Good morning, everybody. We are getting loaded up for today's crabbing trip right now. As you see how Wade is putting the chicken neck in there, tighten it up. And then he, what we do is roll it around, catch it on it so it doesn't flop as it's coming off. And getting ready. What do you think, Wade? I'm going to go catch them again today. We'll, we'll try. See how this rig I got made up works. I got one on each side of the boat. I'm doing mine over here. And Wade's way ahead of me. I got to catch up. <laughs> All right, the first attempt with the new trot line here coming up right now. We're getting the line in the water. This is a chain that will hold it down. And then we got to let it roll out here. All right, here we go. It's working, Wade. Yeah. It's going out. All right, here we go. We're going to get it in the water, see what it'll do. Here we go. Awesome. All right, we're coming up to the end right here, as you can see. We gotta get this hook out of here before it goes in the water. Out right here. And what we'll do is we'll stretch this out here like this. Then hook this to the chain like that. And then we'll let this down nice and easy. We'll have to pull it tight too. Make sure it's stretched out along the bottom. Yeah, we got a little bit of loop in it right now, so we like to stretch it out. Big loop. So you see the buoy's way over there and way over here. So we got a pretty good size loop in it that we've got to get out. But we've got to get our anchor on this end before we can actually get it out. So, all right, stay tuned. Here we go. All right, we had to make one little adjustment. I could not put it on top of the rail run too high, so we had to come under the rail, which is a little problem there, trying to stick it way out there to do it because you can't go out there and stand out in the water. So we got it in here, though, as you can see. Run all the way down. We're gonna test it out here in just a minute. See how it works. Y'all ready? Woo! I can't wait. Here we go. All right, we're coming up for the first pull on the new trot line in the Gig Master boat. All right, here we go. Let's see how it's gonna work. All right, so far so good. I don't know, Wade. I might have to get up in the front of the boat. You might have to dip. A little further forward because of the uh, line coming up a little higher out the water. Yep, I think he's right. All right, just go kind of slow and we'll uh, see what we got. All right, stay tuned. We gotta wait till we go through all this. Oh, here it is, and it's a crab. First crab caught right there with the gig bass boat. First crab, and it's, it's a keeper crab, so we'll keep that one. And there's another one coming right there. No, oh, I got him. Oh, I missed him. I missed that crib. He got off. He let go right before he got up to it. Oh, there's one right there. Might that one? I think that one's gonna make it. What's that? I think he'll make it. It's a male, but he's pretty good size. And there's one coming right there. That's a male, but that one might not make it. I'm not sure. We'll have to measure him for sure. And another one right here. Oh, oh, oh I got it. But uh, we'll see how it's about the size. All right. It's working, Wade! Yeah. The Gig Master trot line is catching crabs. Oh, that one let go right before the end, too. They're letting go because I don't have it low enough in the water, I think, what it is. We'll have to, what we'll have to do is lower this back here a little bit lower. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they're, they're coming off before they get to it. Oh, but we're getting them, though. We're getting them, though. Here we go. We we'll had to cull some out right here for sure. All right, the, kick, the first run with the Gig Master trot line is doing pretty good. That's. A, it up on the first yeah, I fill it up on the first run here, maybe. We'll see. Man, not bad for the first run. Okay. And it hadn't been out 10 minutes, so uh, doing pretty good. There's one right there. Yep, not bad. Oh, where he's gonna go? I want him. That's a big Jimmy crib there. Hi. Right. I can't tell when I get halfway. Like Wade's has a uh, little uh, chain in the middle, which I don't. But we're not doing bad for the first run, as y'all can see right there. Oh, this one right there. Oh, he let go too. They're letting go before they come up, so I gotta be on my game here to be able to get him. There's one right there, but 
Alright, here we go. The very first run of the Gig Master Trot Line looking good. And there we go. Alright, let's get this off here. Set it back down and check out what we got on the first first test run with the Gig Master Trot. Let's see what we got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 12. Maybe 15 crabs. 16. That's not bad for the first run, is it? Awesome. All right. Let's call these out and uh, get, get ready to pick it up again. Here we go. All right. This is the culling process here. And we've taken some air. He is too small. He doesn't make the cut. So he goes back. And female is okay. Uh, adult female. This one is a male, but he probably won't make it. But let's see. Man, just a quarter inch too shy. Oh, back in order. There's a no. Did catch a few small males. That one's way too small. Back in order. And that one's a male, but I think this one will make it here. Yep, that makes it. Okay, we're going to cull them out and make another run. Stay tuned. All right, Wade, not bad. We did about 40 crabs on two runs right there. Yep. So yep. that ain't bad. Is it? <laughs> we'll take that all day long. Hopefully within uh, two hours we'll have our bushel and we you don't hit a hole. All right, I got one come up right now. I got a grab. Here we go. Oh, we're gonna actually move this one now. So we're actually pulling it in to be able to move it. Put everything on the end here on the front of the bow, and then we'll move everything uh, up, rest of it in the bottom of the boat. All the crab, the chicken. All right, stay tuned. We're going to get in the boat. Put it back out. All right, we got the chicken, as you see, coming in the boat. And I haven't lost that much chicken. That's not bad at all. I've only got a couple that are missing, but uh, it's looking good. As you see, pull it in right there. All right, here we go. All right, we're getting ready to move it. We got everything now piled up in the boat, as you can see. There's my anchor I made right there. So we're going to go to a new location, drop it back over. A lot of times you get what we call the low-hanging fruit because it gets the immediate crabs on the bottom, then it slows down. We can get but like two crabs that whole line that time. So we're going to move it. Here we go. All right, we're now putting it back over again. As you see, it's all piled up in the boat. And Wade's telling me I need to get over top of the chicken, kind of feed it out so it does not get tangled up. Because I can see where it could get tangled up. All right, here we go. Just kind of feed it out like this way. Yep. You got no hooks here, so I mean, hopefully, uh, shouldn't be any problem. All right, little quick update. We just about got a bushel. Probably on a couple more runs, we'll have it. Just to show you real quick, we actually put them here, keep them crawling out. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Loving, loving every minute of it. But we got a lot of picking to do later <laughs> and cooking. So, anyway, let's get out here and run these uh, lines a couple more times. and finish this up right now here we go all right we ended up with a full bushel of beautiful crabs and picked out four pounds of meat and made a lot of crab cakes that'll be in another video all right appreciate everybody come along don't forget to click like comment below share and subscribe to the gig master we'll see you on the next adventure